Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're joined by Arkansas cornerback Monteric Brown. First of all, Monteric, where did the nickname come from, Buster? Where did that come from? Did it come from your mom? Did it come from a teammate? Did it come from a coach? Where did that nickname <laughs> come from? It came from my grandmother. You know, she just named me that as a kid. You know, Shirley Fricks, my grandmother that passed away. You know, she just gave it to me as a kid. She said, she just said I was tough as a kid. So she just gave me that name and it just stuck with me, you know, my whole life. Your teammates call you that or your coach call you that or they call you Monteric or Mo? Everybody called me that. Like, everybody called me that. Like, I don't even be called by my real name. Like, everybody called me by that name, my nickname. So everybody called me that. Probably the only person that calls you by your real name is probably mom or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Monteric, yeah. get on over here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. All right, but how has the process been coming from college and University of Arkansas uh, to going to the NFL draft and getting to that whole process, doing all these Zoom calls and press conferences and get, just getting ready uh, for that big day of the draft? You know, it's just been a blessing, you know, just coming from a small city, Ashdown, you know, you know, just going to your dream school, Arkansas, you know, and just over the years, just accomplishing your goals, you know, graduating, you know, and just getting to a bowl game. You know, my career at Arkansas, it was a lot of ups and downs, you know, having a lot of coaching changes. I went through three coaching changes, and, you know, I'm just thankful to have um, Coach Sam Pittman. You know, my last two years, you know, him and his staff, you know, they had a great staff. You know, we bought in, and, you know, he brought that blue-collar mentality back to Arkansas, you know, that hard work mentality, you know, and um, it, you know, it, it worked out, you know, for us. You know, we had a successful year last year, you know, and it, and it paid off. It did. I know you talked about uh, Sam Pittman a couple times, saying you were running through a brick wall for Coach – Coach Pippen, these last couple of years has been great. Um, but talk about that experience here at the University of Arkansas. You talked about it being a dream school. What made Arkansas be your dream school? You know, just growing up as a kid, you know, in Arkansas, you know, we didn't have an NFL team. So, you know, I thought Arkansas was my, like, I treated like Arkansas was my NFL team, you know. And, you know, um, it was plenty of times during my career there where I could have transferred anything. But, you know, I paid my loyalty to Arkansas because I'm from Arkansas. And it just meant a lot to me just being a kid from Arkansas. So, you know, I love the, the University of Arkansas, and I'm I'm glad I graduated and, you know, achieved success there. Get from Arkansas, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> the process, though, uh, how different was it uh, from college process? Coming out of high school, going to college, and, you know, choosing University of Arkansas, your dream school. But now, you got NFL teams choosing you. How different is this process? It's pretty different. You know, the – College, the, going to college, the process is a lot. You know, you're talking with teams, you're going to visit the college, but, you know, um, just doing the process for the NFL, you know, it's kind of different. It's kind of unknown. Like, you know, you never know. You, you don't know where you're going to end up at. So I'm just trusting the process, and man, just taking it day by day, you know, and just working and just keeping my head straight. So it's, it's, it's pretty unknown. Now, on the defensive of side of the ball, you, did, you know, you got cornerback and safety. You know, you talked about some coaches saying you do a little nickelback. What have some of the scouts and coaches been saying to you about in the NFL and what position they want you to play on the defensive side of the ball? You know, a lot of teams, they want me to play safety because I got a lot of history in safety. You know, they like what I see on film, like me being physical and coming down to hit. So a lot of teams like me at corner and a lot of teams like me at safety, you know. But me personally, you know, um, it don't matter. You know, whatever the team needs me to do, you know, I'm willing to do, you know. So special teams, anything, punt return, anything, like anything. So I'm willing to do anything again. You know, whatever they need me to do. So you sound like Grant Morgan now. He talked, <laughs> I talked to him just yesterday, and he was saying, I, I care the coach's coffee if you need me to. Just get the coffee, and get it right, get it black, whatever he needs, sugar, whatever he needs. I, I just need the, the opportunity. <laughs> all right, it's, it's all about the opportunity, man. Yes, sir. Uh, but talk about that. Have you even thought about um, the commissioner calling your name, getting to the NFL draft, say, Monteric Brown is drafted to, to this team at this pick? As that went through your mind, and you was like, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do or what I'm going to think about when he calls my name at that time. Definitely, I didn't thought about it. I didn't thought about it plenty of times. You know, you see guys, you know, do this process, you know, go through this whole process and getting a call. So I know when my time comes, you know, I'm going to cry like a baby. <laughs> I'm going to cry, man. It's just a lot of hard work honest. that went into this. It's a lot of hard work that went into this, and it's just going to pay off when that moment comes. I'm sure it's probably going to be those thoughts when you were in the – you know, doing practice by yourself, doing drills by yourself, those long days, those hot days, those cold yeah. days, all those days probably trickling to that that moment right there. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's just a lot of things that went into it. But, you know, when that moment comes, you know, job's not done. You know, you still got to put in the work. You know, I still got to prove myself that I'm that player once they pick me up. And, you know, I'm coming in with a chip on my shoulder. 
All right, now coming into the draft, uh, are you doing a, a party with your family at home? Or are you going to the NFL draft? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing a party. I'm doing a party at home. You know, I got a, um, I got family and friends coming up for the party. So next weekend. So I got families coming. It's just going to be a thing probably at your home, probably back at home, Nash down. Uh, I'm, I'm actually having it in Fayetteville. So my family coming up the weekend and I'm having it in Fayetteville. And it'll be the day of the first day or just a couple of days? Uh, days? I'm doing a couple of days. A couple of days. A couple of days. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good, man. Um, some things that you wanted to work on uh, during the NFL, you know, the pre-draft. Uh, what's some things that you wanted to work on and get better at as you head into the draft? You know, I'm just, I just, I'm just thinking about, you know, just soaking in the game. Once I make it, soaking the game from the veterans, you know, getting a feel for it, you know, work on my craft, doing the little things that I've been doing. So just soaking in the game from the, the veterans and seeing how everything plays out in the next league, next level. And talk about that experience, the NFL Combine. Uh, you know, a certain amount of people only got invited to that thing. You were one of them. Talk about the experience of the NFL Combine and some things that you experienced down there that a lot of people probably won't. You know, I experienced a lot, you know, just talking to guys and meeting other guys from other, you know, situations and cities, you know, just talking to those guys and sucking up the game. You know, it was a great experience, you know, and I was blessed to, you know, get that 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 invite. I believe you said you had made a lot of friends down there. You made a couple of friends down there? Oh, yeah, I made a lot of friends. I made a lot of friends at the combine and just training. You know, I went, I trained in um, Fort Lauderdale, XB with Tony Bellani down in South Florida, so. I had a lot of – I built a lot of relationships during that process. So, it went great for me. Speaking of relationships, you know, you came down to the University of Arkansas for the pro day, you and a lot of people, uh, Grant Morgan, and some people that didn't get to uh, go to the NFL combine. How was that experience back at home, you know, in your own practice facility? Probably feel more comfortable back then. Definitely. As soon as I touched down in Fayetteville, I felt comfortable. You know, just coming back, seeing the guys. Man, it was, it was unbelievable just seeing the guys – you know, it was a great, I had a great time, you know, I felt comfortable and I felt like I had a great um, pro day. Which day did you think went better? You think the NFL combine day went better or you think the pro day while they back at Arkansas went better for you? I feel like, I feel like the pro day, cause I felt I was more comfortable, you know, in my area. So I feel like the pro day went better for me. And last but not least, what are the scouts and some of the coaches saying about your uh, film work, uh, things that you want to see on, on the film for you? You know, they, they, they love the film, you know, just having a lot of picks, you know, leading the SC in picks, you know, they love that. You know, they're saying I have a lot of a lot of good ball skills and, you know, I'm a, I'm very physical corner. So they love in the film and, you know, it went great. I appreciate it, my Terry Buster Brown, man. I'm finally, <laughs> finally glad to hear where, where that came from and we wish yes, you sir. the best of luck as long as your family and going to the NFL draft and everything in the future for you. Thank you for having me.